Hey, good morning, everyone. It is Thursday, April 2nd, and we're going to go ahead and continue with our writing. Um, so yesterday we planned out Little Book's big hit. We read this article about Little Golden Books, and um, we talked a lot about the books themselves. You might want to start today's lesson by going ahead and rereading the article from today, or from yesterday, sorry, um, Little Book's big hit. If you don't know where to find that, just as a reminder, let me show you. You go into our distance learning folder, second grade, uh, March 30th through April 3rd. That's this week. Go into the reading folder and then go down to March 31st. This is going to be the article that we're using. All right. Reminder, if you've not logged into Seesaw yet, please log into Seesaw. Even if you're just logging in and shoot me an email, um, a text, a phone call. So then I know that you are able to get in this folder. Okay, let me go back. These will not be here next week. This will all be on Seesaw. So you need to be um, getting ready to use Seesaw. Everything will be in Seesaw, the link and the work. Okay, so let's go ahead, <clears throat> excuse me, and let's get started. So last, uh, last week, yesterday, we read Little Book's Big Hit and we planned out our writing. Let's take a look at our prompt right now. <clears throat> So the prompt was, how did Little Golden Books become so popular? And we came up with three ways um, that they became popular. We talked about them being cheap, and they were easy to find because of their affordability. We talked about how they had different titles, and they were constantly adding new titles. Um, and we also talked about how some came with records. So even if you were super young and you couldn't read yet, um, you could listen and basically read along with the record. And finally, we talked about people collect them. Um, they were collectible, they were noticeable, and oftentimes people wrote their names in the inside of the book cover and then passed them down to their children or to um, other young people. So let's go back right now and let's just find these in our passage, starting with, whoops, cheap. Um, and let's just take a, a little uh, second to highlight them so that we know exactly what we're going to be pulling out today. So I like to use my plan, but I also like to go back and look for really nice evidence that I can put right in that writing. Um, and here's the paragraph, paragraph three about it being cheap. Uh, let's see. I'm going to underline until then. Many books cost a dollar fifty. That was a lot of money. Little golden books were only twenty five cents. Okay, I like this piece. I'm going to put that in there. All right, let's go back to our plan again. We have different titles and books that came with records. So let's go down here. Right down to paragraph five, we talked about it yesterday. Um, at first, there were only 12 titles of Little Golden Books were printed, and 15 million copies sold. Soon, more titles were added. We can highlight that right there. And then let's continue with that part about the records. So it's down here in paragraph seven. Some of the books were sold with records. Children could play the records on the record player here being read aloud. The first part. Whoops. Okay. So we have those first two pieces of evidence. One more time, let's go back and let's look at number three. Number three is people collected these books, and that was way later on in our um, paragraph here. We actually highlighted this yesterday, reading, caring, and collecting. And we liked the part about um, people writing their names in. So right here, paragraph nine, another unique feature is found on the inside of the book cover. Uh, their readers will see the words little golden book belongs to. So I'm going to highlight this because this helps me remember what I read yesterday. Okay, so now we have. Come on. We have our first piece of evidence right here. Our second piece of evidence right here. Oops. Do, 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 do. Uh, this is also. Part of our second piece of evidence, so we'll put a number two so we know. Do, do, do. And this is also part of our second piece of evidence right here. And then finally, number three is this paragraph right here. All right, let's go ahead. Let's get started with our writing now. Okay, so I'm going to scroll up to number one so I know exactly what I'm going to be writing about. And yesterday, we planned out our topic sentence. So let's start with our topic sentence. You write your topic sentence. I'll write my topic sentence. We'll share our topic sentences.
Now, I should have said this already. Um, I did say this in the last video because, again, we are completely uh, digital and we don't have packets in front of us anymore. At this point, um, shout out to Jameer. Uh, let me see if I can find my... Well, I'll see if I can find it by the end of this video. Jameer sent me an awesome piece of writing from yesterday, um, and he was able to uh, basically um, write some little lines and had really nice writing on just like white uh, letterhead paper. Um, so that's awesome. Um, Devin, I saw you were typing away on Seesaw. So that's another route you could take if you don't have any paper. Um, but try to find some line paper or make yourself some nice lines so that you have your writing nice and organized. Okay, at this point, hopefully you have a topic sentence. Mine says, little golden books became very popular. I just copied it right down from my plan from yesterday. And now we're going to go into why they are popular. So let's go into detail number one right now. My detail, I talked about how they're going to be cheap and how they were easy to find at grocery and department stores. I'm going to go back. I'm going to reread that as you write yours, and then we're going to write mine to, uh, write ours together. So go ahead and write your uh, first bullet right now. Okay, let's move on. If you need more time, just pause it and unpause it when you are ready to go. So I like this first part that I highlighted. Um, we're talking about how, show you here, um, books at the time cost a lot of money, $1.50. That was a lot of money. Golden books only cost $0.25. Cents. Again, I'm not reading this word for word here. I'm just kind of summarizing it for you. Soon they can be found in grocery stores. They were easy to find because of their look, because of that spine we talked about yesterday. So let's go ahead and let's write about that right now. So let's get rid of this. And let's stretch out. They were cheap and they were easy to find. Okay, so let's say long ago, books were very expensive. And right from the text. Um, but putting it into our own words. first sentence little golden books were much cheaper uh sorry long ago books were very expensive that's my first sentence so i'm setting it up for how cheap they are little golden books were much cheaper than all the other books you could buy okay let's continue to stretch this out uh, let's talk about the grocery store aspect of this Now I wrote, because they were so cheap, they could be found at department and grocery stores. Again, we're pulling evidence right out of the text here. Right from here, it tells us about how they can be found at these stores. And now we're going to, again, tie it back. We want to make sure we're tying it back to the topic sentence. Why are they so popular? Well, this is one reason. So let's, let's go ahead and let's summarize that right now. So let me do this one with you, and then you can do the other two on your own. Because Odin. Um, whoops, sorry, little gold, little gold books. Because little gold books were so cheap, they became very popular. We're tying it back to the topic, and so we're answering the prompt. We told um, the reader about gold books becoming, uh, becoming, well, we told the reader that they are cheap. Then we explained a little bit about how that led to them being popular. And then again, we're tying it back. We're always going back from this sentence right here, right to the prompt. Okay. Let's go on. Let's go on to our second detail right now. Mine is I'm going to talk about different titles and um, the fact that they had records to read along. And that led to their popularity. Let me also make this a little bit bigger so you can see it. Okay. So. Just taking a quick look after my topic sentence, I have one 
Uh, let's see here. One, two, three sentences for that one detail. Three sentences. So you should have two to three sentences as well when you're stretching that out. I'm going to go back. I'm going to reread this bit in the uh, text as you go ahead and write yours, and then we'll come back together. Okay, so I went back, I refreshed my memory, looked at the piece of evidence about, started with 12 titles, 12 books, um, and then more were added, and then again, we are talking about how you could read aloud with them. So let's go ahead and start writing about that. So I'm going to start with uh, another reason, little golden books became popular is because There were many title, um, let's say, instead of titles, let's change it up. Let's say many different books to choose from. Again, summarizing that, we started with 12 titles we're adding on. There's a lot of books to choose from. So we're going to add that into our writing. Let's go ahead and let's talk about this part right here, the record part. So let's go back. Let's refresh our memory. Some of the books were sold with records. Children could play the record on a record player and hear the book being read aloud. So we can even add this, tying it back, because this first sentence we kind of tie back, another reason for their popularity. Let's do the same thing for this next sentence. So I wrote, these books were also very popular become, because they came with records. Now, it explains why they're popular, right? But we don't know why um, the part about records made them popular. So let's stretch that part out. So children could read along with the record and practice reading. This kind of explains why that record in that book um, helped the popularity of these books grow. Okay, let's go ahead and let's add our third detail in right now. So I'm going to go back, do the same thing. I'm going to look at my text, just like you should be. Um, I'm going to talk about collecting the books and people writing their names in them and how that added to their popularity. You go ahead and write your third detail. I'll go back and refresh my memory. Okay, so if you need more time, pause it and we'll come back. Um, I accidentally X'd out of my screen here, so unfortunately I just lost all the stuff we underlined together, um, but I just re-highlighted this part about reading, caring, collecting. So I want to add this into my writing. I want to say another unique feature is found on the inside cover of the book. Their readers will see the little golden books belongs to and kind of talk about how they collect these books for their children. So let's go ahead and let's add that in. I'm going to say, finally, um, little golden books. And make sure when you're writing this, I don't think I explained this, when you're writing little golden books, it should be capitalized because it's a proper noun. We're talking about a specific book. Little golden books are often collected. Let's explain the, the portion about the name and the children.
Okay, so I wrote my third detail right now. I said, finally, little glowing books were often collected. Oftentimes, people wrote their names inside the book. You know what, let's say inside the, the, inside the book's cover um, on a line. Um, so, uh, these books were then collected or handed down to the reader's Put a comma, apostrophe in there. They are readers' children. Okay, so again, we're stretching that out. We're kind of explaining that. Now, we could add a lot of detail here. Um, there's a lot more in this that we could explain um, about the actual people collected them and, you know, build collections. That's when you um, gather lots of things, like maybe you have a baseball collection, a car collection, or maybe you collect uh, some sort of a toy. People did that with these books. Um, a lot, again, in these paragraphs 8, 9, and 10, I'm just looking for some extra details that you could put in. And I encourage you to go back when we're done and add some of that writing in. All right, so let's, let's go ahead and let's wrap up our writing right now. We need a concluding sentence, so write your concluding sentence, and then we'll write one together. Okay, let's write a concluding sentence together. So we're going to say little golden books. Ah. Um, became popular. And let's just list the reasons out here. It was something we haven't done in a while. Say so little golden books became popular because, uh, I can't type Mr. Gilbert, because they were cheap. We're going to add a comma because we're going to add three reasons here. Um, it came with records, comma. And um, because collected them. So let's reread that sentence. Little glowing books became popular because they were cheap, they came with records, and because people collected them. Okay, so our concluding sentence could simply be little golden books became popular, or we could actually go back and add some of those details in. If you have any questions about this, please don't hesitate to reach out. Um, call me, text me, email me. Big shout out again to all of you that are getting on Seesaw. I will post this on Seesaw as well. Try to uh, fill it in there if you can. Um, upload a picture, snap a picture with your computer, your iPad, your tablet, whatever. Um, I'd love to see some of your writing today. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. And that is all for today, folks. I'll talk to you very soon. Bye, everyone.